Hey, hello and welcome back my dear STEM learners. So far, we're done with the discussion of the introduction to conic section. This time, we're going to proceed with our next topic. So this will be the first conic that we're going to discuss and this will be circle in standard form. But before we proceed with our discussion, let's have a short review about circle. So what is a circle? A circle is a set of all points in a plane that is equidistant from a fixed point. When we speak of the word equidistant, it means with equal distance from that fixed point. So now, looking at the animation, we're going to form a circle. So this will be the set of points equidistant from a fixed point. So that will be our circle. So now, what do you call that fixed point? That fixed point is what you call the center. Let's proceed. A circumference is the distance around the circle. Just like in polygon, we have a perimeter. In circle, we call it a circumference. A radius is any straight line segment connecting the center to any point on the circumference. While a diameter of a circle is any straight line segment that passes through the center and whose endpoints lie on the circle. A chord of a circle is any line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. So now, my question is, can we consider the diameter a chord? Definitely, because we all know that a diameter is the longest chord of a circle. A second is any straight line that intersects the circle at a minimum of two distinct points, while a tangent is any straight line that touches the circle at exactly one point. Now, let's proceed with our main topic. Our main topic is all about the standard equation of a circle, or the standard form of a circle. So now, we begin with the center at the origin. So a circle in standard form with the center at the origin, we're going to use this equation x squared, plus y squared is equal to r squared. An origin has the coordinate at the point 0, 0. So that will be where the center is. Let's have our first example. Example number 1. Give the standard equation of the circle, satisfying the given condition. Center at the origin with radius of 4 units. Now, since the center is at the origin, we're going to apply the standard form with the center at the origin given the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, the only thing to do here is to, sub or to substitute the value of 4 to your equation, that is r. So, r now will become 4 squared. So, now we evaluate 4 squared. So, what is 4 times 4? That will give us 16. So that will be the equation in standard form. x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. If we're going to draw the circle, so we begin with the center at the origin and whose radius has a length of 4 units. Now, using a compass, so this will be the circle in equation or in example number 1. Let's proceed. Example number 2. Give the standard equation of the circle satisfying the given condition. Still, we have center at the origin with radius of length 2 square root of 3 units. Since the center is still at the origin, so we're going to apply the standard form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Then sub the value of the radius to r. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 square root of 3 squared. Now we evaluate 2 square root of 3 squared. So what is 2 times 2? 
So that will give us 4. How about square root of 3 squared? Square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give us 3. So now getting the product, 4 times 3. So that will give us a product of 12. So 2 square root of 3 squared is equal to 12. So the equation in standard form is x squared plus y squared is equal to 12. Now draw the circle. We begin with the center of the origin. The length of the radius is given as 2 square root of 3. So getting the approximate value of 2 square root of 3 using your calculator, this will give us a value of 3.46. So the radius length is 3.46 units. Then drawing the circle using a compass, so this will be the circle in example number 2. Okay, next example. Example number 3. Give the standard equation of the circle satisfying the given condition. This time, the circle is already given. So, using that circle in the coordinate plane, we're going to form the standard equation of that circle. Now, we all know that the center is the origin. So, we're going to apply the standard form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. But what will be the length of the radius? Now, looking at the given circle, knowing that the center is at 0, 0, still at the origin, so this will be the length of the radius. So we can count the length of the radius per unit. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is exactly 5 units. So now we have the radius length. And we all know that radii are equal. So if it's a VN, all the radius are equal. Given that condition, now we apply the formula. So we simply sub the value of R to our equation. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. So 5 squared will now give us 25. So the final answer becomes x squared plus y squared is equal to 25.